Now I want to talk about moving because some people get offers after they've started at an institution. First of all, generally you don't want to move before you get tenure at your first institution because that suggests that maybe you didn't get tenure. So uh, you want to get tenure first. However, if you have a life-changing offer or that something happens in your life and you want, you want to move or there's something really bad, like there's no patients where you are and you're doing clinical research, uh, then you may have to move. But generally try not to move while you're tenure track. Moving will take two years out of your research life. Um, I tried to beat the system, I didn't. <laughs> Uh, moving isn't easy. Uh, no matter how much you plan for it, you're still going to have some downtime and a time getting up again. So make certain that you want to really move. Um, you know, always respond to offers for interviews. It's very nice. You learn a lot and you get to know a lot of people, um, but don't always believe everything that they say. Make sure it's in writing and uh, make sure it's something you really want to do. Okay, this is my map for moving. You start 12 months in advance. Uh, you have to form the people where you are so that your students and other faculty can start planning. Uh, you have to start recruiting people for the new place, ordering equipment, uh, start writing your protocols before you get there, and then uh, ordering equipment and supplies so that you arrive ready to move the moment you arrive. 